Good morning, everybody. Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. It is Sunday, September 6th. Um, and it's a cold one out there today. Took the dogs out for a walk at 8 a.m. and it was only five degrees, okay? I know in the US you guys are Fahrenheit. I think that's like low 50s or something like that. Um, but it was cold, let me tell you. We even turned the fireplace on on the main floor just to kind of heat up the main floor a little bit. Uh, so fall is definitely coming, which I'm okay with and the dogs are extremely happy about as well. Okay, so before I get started, I got a lot of things to say today. So you might want to stick around, some important stuff. Um, so uh, don't go away if you want to hear the good stuff. Um, if you skip it and then you come back and you email me or you ask me questions, I'm going to say go back to the video because this is stuff you want to hear. And I even have it written down because I don't want to forget anything. I always forget to say something. Let's start with crystal resin. So a lot of you have been asking me when I'm going to get the promo code and all of that. Well, I finally have the promo code. So you all know I've been using crystal resin now. I use it to top coat all my paintings, all my coasters. Um, I use it pretty much for everything. Um, I no longer varnish my paintings and that's solely just a preference. Um, if I have a client who commissions a piece from me and prefers varnish, I will varnish it. But for the most part, I will resin everything. So crystal resin now available in the US. If you are watching and you're not in Canada or the US and you're interested, I'm not sure. So don't quote me on this. You need to actually contact crystal resin themselves and uh, ask them if they ship worldwide. That's up to them, not up to me. And just so we're clear, it's crystal resin with a K, okay? All this information is listed in the description below, but yet I still have a lot of people messaging me, putting comments below saying, I can't find crystal resin and they're spelling it with a C. It's crystal resin with a K and it's just crystalresin.com, all right? So right now on the website, all the resin is currently on sale. So not only is it on sale, you're now gonna get a promo code from me. So you can use code CANELA5, and for now, you can save 5% off your crystal resin purchase because the resin is already on sale. Down the road from now, when the owner decides to take the resin and not have it on sale in its regular price, we will then revisit my promo code and change that to a higher percentage. But right now, because the resin is already on sale at a pretty good price, might I add, you can now also save an extra 5%. So Canela 5 with a capital K. Again, all that information is listed in the description below. So Canela 5 and you can save 5% while the resin is currently on sale. So that's that. The next thing, um, Loli Veffi. You guys all know how much I love my Loli Veffi squeeze bottles, um, my Loli Veffi silicone mats. I use them on my drying rack. I showed you guys those in my last video. I've showed you guys these many a times. They are molds that I use. I have three of them. Here's two of the three. I use them whenever I'm doing resin projects and I have leftover resin in my cups and I don't want to throw away the resin because let's face it guys, resin is expensive and you don't want to get rid of it. So I keep these little molds handy for when I have extra resin and I just pour into the molds and I make these awesome little paperweight holders or just plain decorations. And just like that, as you saw, I roll it off and then I flip it back inside out. There we go. And we're ready for the next time I have extra resin. So here's another one. I will show you guys this one. I will just simply peel it off. This one has blue and white. So let me show you that. How pretty is that? I had a lot of blue and a lot of white left over. So I literally, oh, I have it upside down, sorry. That's how it goes. But, uh, but yeah, so I make these if anyone is interested. Here's the other one, it's just black and white. How classy is that? 
I love it. It is so awesome. So that's what I do with my leftover resin. I put it in these molds. So you can um, get these and save 10% off the entire Loli Buffy website using code Canela10. So it's pretty simple, guys. 10% off, Canela10. For resin, 5% off, Canela5. So save 10% off your entire purchase, uh, lolivefi.com. Again, that info is in the description below. I will also link it up at the top. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to talk to you about? Um, my wonderful friend, Tammy Anderson. Um, if you don't know who she is, go and check her out. I will put her um, link in the description below and I'll post, I'll put the link of the actual video. She did a color split her first color split video um, and she tried her first canvas of color split with turquoise and white and she nailed it. I'm not surprised because she's an awesome artist. So check out Tammy's video. Uh, again, I will link it below. And if I remember, I will link it up here at the top so you can click on that as well. There's gonna be a lot of stuff coming up at the top, that little eye with the white bar coming across the top. Click on that and you'll get to Tammy's video. At the end of the video, you'll see a circle in the top left hand corner that's tammy anderson's um, sub, um page click on that subscribe to her channel as well guys she's a very very good friend of mine and she deserves all the love so all right we've got crystal resin talked about um loli Vefi talked about my awesome girl tammy talked about um if you're not a subscriber and you're watching please subscribe i know a lot of you haven't been getting notifications there has been um, Google and YouTube because you're not getting the email notifications anymore. If you just do a Google search on that, you'll get an article that tells you exactly why that happened and how you can fix it or do something else to make yourself get notifications because they're saying because a lot of people weren't opening the emails, only 1% of emails were being opened, they decided to scrap the emails. So that's why you're no longer getting notifications, not just my channel, all channels. So just keep in mind, I upload every three days. So if you haven't seen a video from me in a week, you're missing out because every three days I upload a video. And a lot of people have been asking me about my renovation videos. We have been at a standstill for almost a week now. Nothing has happened, which believe me, I'm very upset about, um, but I can't do anything about it. My hands are tied, um, but I will have a video early this upcoming week um, and I will, upload that with some more progress. Uh, let's see, last thing I wanna talk about, super duper important here, okay? Because it's happening a lot. I get a lot of people emailing me, private messaging me on Instagram, Facebook with one question. How do I price my art? Can you help me price my art? And my answer to everybody is no, I can't help you. And I'm not, it's not that I don't want to help you. I literally cannot help you price your, your art. I don't know what you used, what kind of canvas you used, how much you paid for your canvas, what kind of paints you used. Did you use apple barrel paints, which are cheap craft paints? Did you use really expensive golden paints? I don't know. I don't know what kind of paints you used. What kind of medium did you use? Floetrol? If you use Floetrol and I use Floetrol, I buy it for like 20 something bucks in Canada. In the US, you might buy it cheaper or somewhere else you might buy it cheaper. My point is I have no idea what materials you're using to make your pieces. I know there's a chart out there in floating in Facebook land that tells you how to price your art. Oh my God, if you have seen, or oh my gosh, I'm sorry. If you have seen that chart, please do not follow it. Please disregard it. Please don't even look at it. It is the most ridiculous chart I have ever seen because it cannot possibly accurately tell you how to price your art when that chart has no idea what kind of canvas you used, what kind of paint you used. Did you varnish it? Did you resin it for a top coat? What if you, you know what I mean? Like it's, there's no way anybody can tell what you did, how you did it, how long it took you to make it, and all of that, you need to sit down, calculate how much your flow trial was or your pouring medium, calculate what kind of paints you used, factor all that in as a price, and then add a little extra for your time so you can make a little bit of a profit and then determine how you're gonna price your art that way. If you're a newbie and you just started, you might wanna start low because you can't exactly start super duper high. 
When I started, I was pricing my art just enough to pretty much cover the cost of my materials. And then as I got higher, more popular, um, better, you know, I have a huge, you know, following on social media, YouTube, Instagram, all that, then you can raise your price a bit. But until then, start low. So please, for my sanity, please don't ask me how to price art because I cannot help you. I really, really cannot help you. So I hope this information is helpful to you all. Um, like I said, just price out how much all your materials cost, okay? Because you could be using level one cheap canvas. You could even be using dollar store canvases. I don't know. I use the expensive level three gallery wrap canvases from Michaels. I also use higher end paints. I also use resin as a top coat. If you don't use any of that, I'm just saying, for example, here, let's say I have a 10 by 10 and I price it for a hundred bucks and I, that's the material I use, but you use a dollar store canvas, apple barrel craft paints, and you varnish it. You can't really charge the same because it's not the same material. You can charge whatever you want, but if you, and if you can get that price, good for you. I'm happy for you, but I can't help you price your art. So please, please, please remember that. And, and please, please, please. No more gajillion emails on how to price art because I can't help you guys. So I think that's all I have to say. Oh, I wanted to show you. My color split is, I think, almost dry. There's just a little bit of a wet spot right here. However, it dried perfectly. It did not move. The paint did not shift. Um, I'm so extremely happy with that. Um, and you know what? If you watch the video and you remember, when I was blowing it out, I said, oh, the paints are really thick. And they were thick so there's a little bit of a trade-off here if you make your paints thin enough they will flow nice and easy but you have the risk of them sliding off the canvas or moving as it's drying a little bit thicker and they won't move at all but again if it's too thick you won't be able to blow it out either so you got to find that perfect medium in between and this one although it was thick it blew out perfectly and it dried perfectly look at that and when this gets a coat of crystal resin, I won't show you the other one. I just wanted to bring one out, but this is going to be beautiful with a coat of crystal resin because the colors are so rich and vibrant. So this is available for purchase. It's a diptych 10 by 20 inch. If you are interested in this piece, it is still up for grabs if you are interested. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling because we're at 12 minutes of rambling. Okay. I will get you guys down on the canvas and we will get started with today's color split pour. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Before I forget, because I forgot in the intro, calendars are now available as well. Um, so here they are. There's the back real quick. Um, but calendars are back in stock. I have about five or six of them. If you are interested in a 2021 calendar, please email me at canelasoreco at gmail.com and you can have a calendar. Okay, guys, 12 by 24 inch canvases. They are so flipping long. They're actually on the second half of my table, which I've never had before. Um, so my cameras are pushed as far back as possible. And we are doing a color split of black, white, and gray okay now i tell you as fun as these color splits are getting the canvases prepared and ready are a major pain in the butt um they take a long time this probably took me 20 minutes after i stopped recording the intro for you guys um so it is a long process and uh uh yeah it's uh takes a while so i'm just popping the bubbles real quick there's lots of air bubbles in here because I did mix the gray and the black just now. All right, okay, that fixed itself. I've got some gray in here on my white. Okay, I kept the canvases um, more further apart this time because I wanna be able to get the drips underneath and because I had to add popsicle sticks, as you can see, to level a little bit, I don't wanna have to move them after, all right? Okay, so what we have here is a lump. <laughs> There's a lump in my painting. Where did that go? Right here. I think I got it. It was in my black, in my black squeeze bottle. There it is. 
Okay. Colors I am using, obviously, black, which is my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black mixed with water and Floetrol. If you want to know my ratios for how I mix my paints, you can check out video number 63. I will link it up at the top. And then, of course, white. I can't reach it, but same thing. Artist Loft Flow White for the white. And then this color here is um, Liquitex Basics Neutral Gray number five. There's a number five there at the end. So that's the color I use for the gray. Now, I'm not a gray fan by any means, but uh, it's a beautiful color if you use it with the right colors. You guys all know I'm going through a home reno. My whole main floor is going to be beautiful whites, silvers, grays, and blues, of course, blue. So I figured I would try black, white, and gray. Um, the colors I'm going to use I found on Pinterest. Um, as I mentioned, I just search a color on Pinterest. So gray, for example, I did I punched in gray color palette, and it brings you all kinds of fun stuff for you to look at and come up with a color scheme. So that's what I did, and the colors I have come up with are Phthalo Blue by Grumbacher. Then I have Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. I'm gonna give them all a shake. Then I'm going to use Pewter by Deco Art. Then I have Dioxin, no, Lime, Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Actually, I had Dioxazine Purple, but I decided to swap it out for the Blue Violet. Then Sterling Silver by Deco Art. And then finally, Payne's Gray by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Those are my colors in my Loli Buffy squeeze bottles. This is just a small bottle that I did my edges for the gray. And let's get started. Um, hoping this turns out really nice because I really like the colors and I think it'll look really good and it'll look rich. There's no bright colors in here. They're all rich, dark colors. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna pan out. Aside from the silver, everything else is a dark color. So I have a feeling, or at least I hope, this should look pretty. I contemplated um, putting in like a turquoise, but I already had six colors here and I didn't want to mess with it too, too much. So I didn't go for the turquoise, but I think turquoise would look good in here as well. That Payne's, I mean, Payne's gray. This uh, pewter looks really nice on that silver or the gray color. All right. This is gonna be pretty, I think. I think I'm really gonna like this one. The key is to blow it out properly. If you don't blow it out right, then you're gonna have a problem. All right, silver. Silver is going to give me the nice cells. My last video, I didn't use any metallics. So I had minimal um, cells, which is fine because I actually like the way it turned out. But metallic colors will definitely give you the cells as well. All right, this is gonna be a little tough to blow because it is a pretty big canvas. I will do my best. Let's start off by torching the bubbles. Okay, now I'm gonna have to think about this and figure out uh, how I'm going to blow this out. Sorry, I just realized I did not clean off my spatula and that is a must because then it just all dries on the spatula and then I gotta go wash it. But if you dry it, clean it off, it's ready for the next pour. Okay, see, look, clean. Now I can put it away. Over here. Oh boy, I'm a little nervous to blow this guy out. Okay. I gotta think about this and blow it out properly and hopefully I have enough paint and not too thick paint. Let's go.
Okay, I gotta stop for a second because so far, so good. Oh my gosh, these colors are stunning. Okay, now I gotta go over to the gray side and figure out how the heck I'm gonna blow on this side. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's go. Okay, that side was extremely hard to blow out because I couldn't see my hand from doing this. And I know what you guys are saying, why don't I go to the other side of the table and blow? Absolutely impossible. I have tripods and the cameras over there. There's no way I could even get to the other side to blow it out. However, I love it. I am like, okay, I've lost a lot of the gray here. However, it's still over here, which is nice. And there's quite a bit over here, but the colors are just stunning. I'm going to put these away for a sec. So they're not in the way because I'm going to try, bear with me, please. Just going to put these here on my shelf that my daddy made me. Cause a lot of people keep asking me where I got this lovely handy duty, uh, shelving rack for all my paints my dad made it for me okay let me see what's going on over here oh, look at the cells i love it i love it and that is obviously from the sterling silver that is what produces a lot of the cells uh oh man when i bring you guys down for a close-up you guys are going to lose it there's an air bubble there i'm gonna get rid of that and you know what, aside from touching up little, uh, fixing up the sides a little bit over here, I don't think I'm going to touch anything else. I, I want to bring some of the gray back here. I want to bring some of the gray back. See, just all you got to do is blow back into it and then you'll get, you know, more of a defined space. So... I think this is fine here. I'm not going to touch any of that. Oh my gosh, I love this piece. Is it crazy that I get so excited about something? Um, and look how ironic. It's already matching. I don't have to do anything. Maybe here I'm going to blow it just a bit. Just a bit. There. And now we're closer together here. Oh, okay. Okay. This might be a piece I might have to do for my future renovation when it's done and do something like this on a much bigger scale. Um, but wow, but this 12 by 24 inch was hard to blow. So when I get my new studio and I have much bigger tables because I will get much bigger tables and I'll have a better setup with my lighting and my camera and all that. Um, it's gonna be much easier. I am so excited. I don't even know what to start looking at here. I love it all. I'm not torching anything. I'm not touching anything. I am going to um, bring you guys down for a close up uh, because you guys gotta see this up close. It's gorgeous. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here it is. And I am just in love. Like, I mean, I get happy about my pieces, but Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I love this piece a lot. It's so pretty. And these studio lights really suck. But I will show you with the studio lights off. But look at that. Look at the cells. 
Now, I'm hoping that this doesn't keep running off the edge because I'm going to lose that silver, unfortunately. But I did prop it up with another popsicle stick. See that? Two popsicle sticks. So I will come back to it. I'm going to set a timer on my watch because I forget so quickly. I'm going to set a timer on my watch for 10 minutes and come back down and check on it. If I still see it's moving and dripping off the edges there, I will prop up another popsicle stick, even though it was level when I did the painting, because I did make sure it was level. Guys, paint moves. It will move no matter what, especially if you have a lot of paint on there. So please keep that in mind. Set yourself a reminder on your phone. Come back and check on it and make sure it's not completely shifting. If you notice it's shifting in a certain area or a corner, prop it up with a popsicle stick. I cannot tell you how important that is, okay? So here it is with the studio lights on in all its glory. Oh my God, I love the colors. And you know what? As much as I love silver, it looks great. I think I'm gonna try it again with just black and white and these colors. So let me know your thoughts on that because I can definitely try another one and do that. Um, black, maybe even black, black and white in the center. Maybe I'll do that. So black on the ends, white negative space in the center using these gorgeous colors. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Should I do that? Should I do black, black and white in the middle or should I do black and white half split? I'm kind of liking the black and the black. Let me know in the comments below. Now I will turn the studio lights off and I'll show you guys with the lights off. Be right back. All right, guys, studio lights are off and the shimmer is in full effect. Look at this. It's so pretty. Okay, if you are interested in this 12 by 24 inch diptych, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. I have a strong feeling this one is um, not going to last very long, or at least I hope so. Um, it's just too pretty. It is so unbelievably pretty. I am just loving it. It is amazing and it's going to get a coat of crystal resin, of course. Look at that shine. Look at the shimmer. I'm like praying I don't drop my phone in this painting. Okay, there you have it. I am in love with it. It's a beautiful color. I can't get over this. Okay, if you are interested, you know what to do. Please comment in the description below, guys. Don't forget Crystal Resin, Canela 5 for 5%. Loli Vefi, Canela 10 for 10%. Don't forget my Amazon links are also listed below with all my supplies that I use. You can check that out in the Amazon shops. Um, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. If you are interested in a calendar, let me know. CanelaSiraco at gmail.com. Renovation video coming soon. Juno and Echo video coming soon. Don't forget to check out my sweet little boy Lucas on his channel, Lucas Siraco, with his model trains. Uh, thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. Uh, my birthday is not until September 20th, um, but I call it my birthday month. So thank you to everyone for the lovely wishes. Uh, thank you to Amy and Linny for the PayPal donation for a birthday gift. You guys are so sweet. Um, and for a gift for Lucas, because my birthday is September 20th and Lucas's is on September 27th. I, you know, we have a lot of birthdays in September, but I'll mention that in the next video. But anywho, enough rambling from me. It's been a long video. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Ciao. Bye.